Good morning, YouTube Pipe family from the Real Batman and Gizmo. Going for our walk this morning. It's a kind of a calm day, cool in the mid 40s. Perfect for a walk, kind of sunny. Give you a little look around there, see the sun coming up. And I'm smoking my little big Ben Prince, a Cambridge, uh, heck, I can't find the number on it. It says Briar Extra Cambridge something. Oh, there it is, 157. Okay. With some, uh, what in the heck's in it? I forgot what's in it. Probably Batman blend. Anyway. Hey, Giz. Where we going, buddy? Giz says he's going to let some uh, hydraulic fluid out. All right, bud. Let's go. Giz takes me for a walk three, three, at least three times a day. Don't we go for a walk three times a day, little buddy? As you can see or guess, and if you have a dog for a pet, you know that the nose knows. They use their nose for everything. They use their nose for first contact, last contact, to make sure that that's who it really is when they meet up with their pals. What do they do? Sniffer ends. The reason they do that, they're smelling glands to make sure it's who it's supposed to be. And when they TT on things, they're leaving what I call male. And when they stop to smell uh, tall objects, garbage cans, fire plugs, whatever, they are smelling where their friends have left messages. They theorize that whoever TT's up the highest is the largest dog in area. So, that's one reason they lift their legs and try to tilt and aim up. They want to try to tell everybody else, hey, man, I am this big and king of this territory. But Giz, if a uh, St. Bernard were to come in the area, he would still think he was as big as that St. Bernard, if larger. I have seen him jump on... Uh, dogs five times his size and scare them off of course if they knew and they stood up to him they could have ate him for lunch but i'm telling you he's ran off pit bulls german shepherds uh all kind of other animals now he loves cats for some reason well, I know we had a cat when he was growing up. Cat's name was Blinker because he always sat around blinking. You could go up to him and ask him a question. Hey, Blinker, how you doing there, buddy? And he'd sit there and blink, 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 blink. <laughs> he was a Manx, M-A-N-X. Those cats originally came from the Isle of Manx. It's off the British... Um, the British, uh, what am I trying to say? Anyway, they're off the coast of England. Uh, and we, I think my grandfather gave us the first Manx cat. He brought the first one home, and it was, it probably is true that he, he used to work at, uh, uh, the Ford Motor Company assembly plant, or was it GM? It's, it was one of a long time ago in the 50s. 
Somebody give him a bobtail cat. But, now they said it was a real bobtail. I ain't talking about a domesticated. I'm talking about one in you get out of the wild cats. And so through the years, after breeding with domesticated cats, uh, you can imagine, they all became bobtail domesticated cats. Some of them were a little bit wild. Uh, but those are the cats I grew up with, was that cat's offspring. And of course, always raised them at our house also. <clears throat> so that's where we got all of our bobtail cats was from him. And there's still a couple running loose over here in this neighborhood. White ones and a black and white one. Anyway, so Gizmo, by growing up with the cat and no dog around, he grew to really love and enjoy cats. They became his buddy, although Blinker didn't really care about playing, you know, cats. Uh, one day, was it last year? It was, I believe it was last, early last summer, spring, we were out walking around the front yard and all, and he walked over to the fence area, and lo and behold, he found a feral kitten in the ivy next to the fence. And I believe it belonged to this feral cat who used to come in our yard and kill birds at my bird feeder. And uh, so he wanted to take the cat in, so we took it in. He would not take his eyes off of that kitten that was his kitten, and nobody could have that kitten but Gizmo. Boy, he loved it. And anyway, my sister, she seen it, and so she wanted to take it home and take care of it. So when she took it home, needless to say, Giz searched the house high and low for that kitty. And I had to tell him that uh, Sharon took it home. Oh, well, Giz, you'll find another one one day, won't you, buddy? Hey, Giz, where's the zub zub? Kick, kick, kick. Where's that kick, kick? You want to go get the kitty? Where's that kitty, kitty? I done let my pipe go out. I'm not going to attempt to light it right now. <clears throat> not while I'm walking. And holding him and a camera and all that stuff. Oh, well, buddy, it don't look like there's one around up here, does it? Hey, Giz, you want to take us home? Let's go home and see if we can find one. Okay? Go home and get the kitty. Let's go get the kitty at home. Come on. Go ahead, Giz. Go ahead. Go ahead, bud. Well, I did manage to get it lit during that short interlude. I uh, hope I've made sense talking this morning. Sometimes I forget what I'm talking about and I forget what I'm trying to say. 
but I have thoroughly enjoyed walking with y'all this morning and I hope y'all have enjoyed our little walk with the real Batman and Gizmo this morning. We're getting close to home. When we get there, that's where we close it out. By the way, um, if you're making a pet video for the contest, it ends November 14. It ends November 14. Uh, that's a deadline. Please, somehow let me know that you have made a video for the contest. So far, I've only found three yeah, three videos for the uh, pet contest. Now, I'll state it again. You do not have to walk your pet around the block. It would be nice if you could walk your pet around your neighborhood and show us a little bit about the neighborhood. But that's not totally necessary. And if you don't have one... A pet at the moment you can just tell us a good tale make it a happy tale and remember the YouTube pipe community is gonna be voting on the videos not me the pipe family I'm gonna let them choose the winner you guys that are making videos and watching videos are gonna choose the winter. I mean the winter. <laughs> Alright, well, Giz has got us home. I wasn't paying attention. And so I guess that'll be it for today. Y'all keep them lit. This is the real Batman and Gizmo signing off for today. See y'all next time.